It's funny how fitness is something I turned to initially when I was fighting for my life. And now I can say most definitely fitness saved my life. And I don't know how many times I was told that you are so lucky. And I knew it. And it was almost like I'm given a second chance. I've got to do everything I can to make sure that I take advantage of the second chance. And that's really when fitness started to play a role. My name is Lena Miranda and I'm uh, 36 and I work full time as an account manager for a pharmaceutical company and my part time job, which I call my fun job, what I love to do is I teach fitness. Now is at a time where my best friend, we're actually planning a trip to Europe and we're going to go backpacking. And so you can imagine I'm 21 and uh, getting ready to plan this amazing trip to spend the summer in Europe with my girlfriend. My father said to me, Lena, this doctor keeps calling for you. And I thought, okay, strange. Well, if he's not leaving a number, that's fine. He'll just catch me when he does. And uh, one day I was home. And so I, I caught him on the phone and he, he said to me, Lena, are you sitting down? And I remember at the time thinking, this is not good. So I sat down. And very quickly, he said, look, we found a tumor. It's big. We don't know the extent of it. It could be metastasized. So he said, um, you've got to come in, CAT scan, PET scan, surgery. Like, we got to work fast. And uh, so I was sitting on my bed, and I'm looking at my, um, my backpack, and I'm thinking, I'm not going to Europe. How I might die. Like, this is serious. Um, so I kind of just sat up, I wiped my tears, and I had to walk downstairs and tell my parents. So um, he goes, it's 20% of five years survival. And in my mind, I'm thinking, not good, but that's okay. It's, it's 20%. I could be 20%. I, and I think I smiled, which is quite odd at the time. And I said, that's okay because I will graduate university. I will get married. I'll have, I'll have a baby, I'll be a mom. And those were my three things um, that I think pushed me to just get through this. And it was almost like, all right, bring it on. What are we gonna do? I think that was one of the only times I cried. I just said, you know what, it's okay. And I don't know if it's because everybody else was crying that I said, you know, you're not allowed to cry. Like if I can't cry, you can't cry. And uh, and that was the moment, the moment where that self, lack of confidence person, I think I morphed into this strong person and it was instantaneous, it was like five minutes and I became strong.